Hey everyone, it's Lillian, as promised, with the cauliflower pizza crust recipe, and this is what you need. You need a whole head of cauliflower that has been riced in either a food processor with the grater uh, blade, or you can use a box grater and just grate it. You need one egg or egg substitute beaten, half a cup of 2% mozzarella cheese shredded, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, and in here I have a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, one teaspoon of oregano, and a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. The red pepper flakes are totally optional. And this is what the cauliflower will look like. Ooh, it's hot. I just got it out of the microwave. Um, what you need to do after you grate the cauliflower is if you have a microwave, go ahead and put it in a microwave safe bowl, cover it with plastic wrap, microwave it on high for about five to six minutes, take it out, let it cool for at least five or ten minutes, then you're going to take your rice cauliflower and put it in a clean kitchen towel or even cheesecloth and uh, wring the heck out of it and get all the moisture out of it. Uh, if you don't let it cool for a few minutes, you're going to burn the crap out of your hands. So I'm going to let this cool because it just came out of the microwave. When I get back, I'll show you what we do. In the meantime, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright, here is the rice cauliflower and as you can see it came down a lot. It like shrunk a lot. <laughs> but you need at least four cups of the riced cauliflower. So that's why I bought two heads of cauliflower. This is only one head. This is like one medium head. Um, I got this recipe on Pinterest. So once you squeeze the water out, um, kind of fluff it up with your fingers first before you put the other ingredients in it. And um, if you feel like you know this is trial and error make make it according to the recipe that you see here first and then you can always adapt to it and add more cauliflower or maybe you have a large head of cauliflower and you got have too much you know just adapt it to how you like it same goes for the seasonings but basically and you need clean hands because you're going to uh, mix this with your hands put your egg in there both cheeses and by the way if you're on Weight Watchers this is only six points for the entire crust so you could really pig out if you want to and eat the whole thing and put your seasonings in there we're going to mix it with the hand mix it very well and it's gonna look like it's not going to come together, but promise you, I promise you it will. So just kind of, when you mix it with your hand, you know, kind of just squeeze it a little bit too. And I know you're thinking, what in the world? This is never, are you serious? It's not going to bake. Trust me, it will. It will bake up um, and yeah, you're just going to be amazed. So this is pretty much mixed up how I want it. It's very, very important if you use a cookie sheet or a pizza pan that you line it first with some parchment paper. If you don't, it will stick like the devil on you. So let me get that off of there. All right, so this is what I have. Let me just move this out a little bit so you can see it. All right and you just dump the entire cauliflower on whatever you want to use to bake it with. Sorry that my hand is in the way right now, I do apologize, but I want to get all this out of the bowl. Alright, this is where the fun comes. You're going to pat it down and you want it about a third of an inch thick. This is really going to work nicely on my pizza pan, though. I can already see it. You're going to pat it and uh, just, you know, form it into a pizza shape. Like I said, um, you can use a cookie sheet for this. And I actually did when I made it the first time, and it came out really well. So once you have this all patted out, and I'm going to work on it a little bit more off camera, you put it in a 400 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes until it's golden brown. If you see that the bottom is more brown than the top and you want the top a little bit more brown, 
just uh, take you another piece of parchment paper when you take it out, flip it over, and put it back in the oven for about five to ten minutes. And when we come back, I will show you what the finished crust looks like. Alright everyone, this is what it looks like, the finished product. Now, um, all you have to do is just keep your your oven at 400 degrees and put your favorite uh, pizza sauce on there and toppings, whatever you want, and put it back in the oven for about 5 to 10 minutes and that's pizza. You just cut it and, you know, pick it up and eat it. It's This is really good and um, I hope you do try it. And if you do, I would love to see a video or even pictures. Share them on Facebook with me. Um, if you're on my Facebook friends list or, you know, put it as a video response below. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe. I'd love to have you. Until next time, take care. Bye.